All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another Elevator Parts video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this pain fixture. We're gonna be wiring it up and taking a detailed look at it. So let's go ahead and get started. So by taking a first glance at this button, you can see here it has a very similar look to Houghton L-Series as seen right here, but they're not the same at all. You can actually tell just by looking at them, this button here is a more white, where this one has more of a kind of a shiny, clear almost type of texture. And also the buttons press a lot different. It's because these aren't Houghton buttons, these are made by pain. I've never actually seen these buttons before. Um, this I believe is a new old stock fixture. You can see here it has the box on the back and it's just a very simple basic fixture and it looks very nice. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see how this works. Now once we remove the screws and pull the cover off, we can see instantly that these are back mounted fixtures. Here's the front plate right here. There's this, this small plastic piece on top, which is glued in there, which holds the little ring in place. So these don't come off without uh, breaking the glue. Then taking a closer look at the button, you can see how these actually work. We can pull the button caps off just like this, revealing a small bulb underneath. The button caps themselves seem to be made up of a pretty solid plastic. The actual arrow itself does not appear to come out without breaking any glue. So we have this just solid assembly right here. Looking closer on the inside, we have these large metal plates which press down to make the contact. And we also have a small bulb here in the middle. You can see here they have the GE 755s. We'll have to see if these are nine volts in a little bit. You can see here that the actual board that holds the buttons in is not really secured in there. It's very loose and it moves around. If I pull it to the side, I can actually pull the whole board out. And you can see in here, there's the two pieces on the bottom which hold the board in place. Now taking a closer look at this board, this thing is solid. This thing feels like it is very well built. And this is a very, very well built and very, it seems almost over complicated button here. So first we have this large base piece here on the bottom which holds both of the buttons in place. And then each button has its own separate baseboard which holds it down to the main board. If we look closely here, we have these large contact pieces on the bottom here. This is where you would hook up your wires. And then we also have the connections here for our lamp socket. Then we have our two little metal plates here, which this is actually quite interesting. So the button presses down on the first plate, which presses it into the large metal contacts here, which completes the circuit. And then you can see the second plate still moves a little bit just to give the button even a little bit more springiness after it's all the way down. And this is actually a really interesting design because just watch how this presses down. And the other button has the exact same thing. This is a very well-built button. I don't see this thing falling apart anytime soon. And those contacts are big and solid. Definitely a thumbs up to this button. This is pretty neat. Another thing to note is we have this little metal piece here, which only allows you to place the arrow in one certain way. You can see here, this one goes for down and this one goes for up. You can only put it in one way and it prevents the button from turning. So while we have all the circuitry pulled out here, I think it's time to wire this thing. So the first thing I wanna do is test these bulbs to see if they'll run off a nine volt battery. What do you know, look at that. They light up with a nine volt battery. So we can go ahead and leave these bulbs already in the button. Makes it super easy to wire now. Okay, so the wiring of this button is finished. Let's go ahead and test it out to make sure it works before we put it all back together. Add our nine volt battery and press down the buttons. You can see this button works and this button works. So they both work when you press down on them. Now let's go ahead and add the caps. Look at that, it works. And I think the wiring on this looks very nice. I tried to keep it nice and organized. We got our, our wires here that connect both the buttons together. So we have our positive wire here, which connects it together. Then our negative here, which connects together. And then I've just used this small piece of metal on this side to connect the other side of the contact to the bulb there. And I think this looks very nice. So the next thing we gotta do is just put it back into the box and put the cover on.
Okay, the button is put back together. Now let's go ahead and see how it looks. And it looks very nice. Look at that. Now that is a very nice button and it lights up very nicely. So anyway, that's going to conclude today's elevator parts video. Hope you enjoyed taking a look into this pain button and a little bit of how I've wired it. As always, if you have any video suggestions for more elevator part videos, stick them down below in the comments. I'm always open for new ideas. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.